Depends on how up by how much and where they yeah. where the person started. Now, there is a version of, of low carb nutrition called the paleo diet, and that's based on what we know from archaeology um, and you know investigation of what Stone Age peoples seem to have eaten. That they, the 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 advocates of paleo talk about about 30% of energy is protein. Um, uh, and so if that's where the person started, upping it more would have no benefit and probably ill effects. If you're starting at 10 to 15%, there's no problem going to, 50 to 20, 25% probably. Um, but again, Dr. Volek, who has his PhD in exercise physiology, AKA kinesiology, has done multiple studies looking at protein uh, requirements for building muscle. And they're very modest. You know? And you don't break down more protein when you do endurance activity for which you're reasonably well trained. Uh, exercise doesn't increase protein demands in people to any, in adults to any significant degree. So um, a modest increase if you're starting at a, at a reasonable place isn't going to do harm. Getting above for 30% uh, carries the risk of side effects. Uh, we know from some Arctic explorers and other situations where people were, were marooned with protein but not enough fat. Uh, and there was a disaster of, an, of a research exposition in the Arctic in 1920 from, from the wreck of a ship called the Wrangell. And three of the, of the, I think, 12 sailors who were marooned on the island died of renal, what appeared to be renal failure with fluid retention and swelling and and, and illness, uh, probably because they overate protein and didn't have enough fat. We don't get to do studies like that on people anymore. <laughs> but we do need to learn from history. But the one thing too is we, with the help of your health coach, we hope everyone is at more of that 10 to 15 percent range, right? And then if you're going to be doing, if you don't normally exercise a lot and then you go out hiking, you know, a lot of the things that you might choose to grab with you, cheese, nuts, I mean, these are kind of typical things to bring on a hike, may bump up your protein for that short period of time just because you, if you're out doing, you know, a, a lot of exercise, especially if it's over days, you might need a little bit more from a consumption standpoint. And there will be some extra protein in those foods. 